Hello everybody, Cyrus here, back with some more fanfic greedy awesomeness stuffs that I know everybody enjoys because we get tons of views, don't we? Yes, we get so many. Let's see, uh, most recent video view count, uh, what, what, uh, f mm. three, what, what? I'm crying now. What? What? No. no. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> um, that's odd. I just want to point that out. Anyway, um, if you didn't catch what I mentioned earlier today in the channel feed, um, ignore the thunder. Um, if you can hear that at least, I might. I probably have gotten that edited out by the time you listen to this. So. Screw me. Anyway, um, I'm going to be reading the last two chapters of the Magic of Rainbow. <laughs> the Magic of Rainbow. The last two chapters of that thing that we call a fanfic reading. Um, <laughs> and the reason I'm doing this is, well, I don't really particularly like the story, but I liked it at first. I started it. I'm going to finish it. And it's kind of getting a, quite a few views that I've noticed. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to finish it. And hopefully by that time, I can get started on something that I actually want to read. And I'm going to do this. So I'm going to start out with Chapter 5, well, well, duh. And then about half of the video... I will leave a small section of space where you can pause the video and go do something else like I'm going to. I'm obviously not going to sit here for, what, an hour and read the... Yeah, okay. Let's begin. One more thing i like to note is that I'm going to be reading these using a different method of text visualization than I usually use so it might sound better it might sound worse I don't know how it's gonna be um, but we'll see if it's not very good if I can tell that it's not good excuse me um, then I will of course switch and you won't know about that anyway um, let us begin shall I The Magic of a Rainbow, Chapter 5, The Knight of Shining Armor, by Chakovich. Damn, my eyes are fucking dry. What the hell is up with me? I literally start. I'm like, hanging. <laughs> yeah. I suck at reading. Anyway. Shining Armor had just gotten off the Friendship Express when he saw a rainbow trail leaving the library. He knew that meant Rainbow had been seeing his sister, but he didn't have a clue why as to why she would fly off so fast. Knowing that it would be pointless to try and figure out now, he instead headed for the Ponyville Hotel, where he would be staying for the week he was in town. The room wasn't anything special, as some ponies would have guessed. He was offered the celestial room, but he turned it down and instead got a normal room. Second floor, room 18 to be exact. The closet provided barely fit his small assortment of clothes in it, and the bathroom was extremely cramped, even if he was the size of a colt. By the time he finally got settled in, it was a late afternoon, and his stomach was growling loud enough to wake Sol uh, Luna. Well, fail there, I believe. Mm -hmm. My, uh, we know. I suck at this. No, I'm great. I just talk randomly sometimes. So he started to make his way towards Sugar Cube Corner. Although, he never did make it there, as he saw and heard Rainbow Dash pull off a sonic rainboom above the outskirts of town. 
and she was headed towards the library. One thing I'd like to mention, now that I'm reading this at a good pace, like I don't do ever, I can see how it's a bit rushed. It does feel rushed to me. Now, it'd be really interesting if someone actually downloaded the um, reading and sped it up so it wasn't all slow. That'd be really funny. Oh god. Ramadash, why do you have such a head voice, again? <clears throat> the sun shines bright, yet the rain pours on. Totally. Um, Twilight, please open up! Rainbow pleaded from outside the library. Every door and window locked tight. After a few more attempts to find a way in, Rainbow fell to the ground outside the library door, head in her hooves. Something going on between you two? Said a voice that caused Rainbow to jump. That was not good at all. <clears throat> I'll try my. I'll work really hard and do my best, guys. I. I I need to practice my voices. Why am I stopping? I don't know. Shiny armor! Rainbow, quick, Rainbow quickly got close to his face. What? Kiss, kiss. <clears throat> what are you doing here? I got out and leave. They said I was working too hard. Shining joked. But what's going on here? Love's. Lo ugh. Lover's quarrel? Uh, something like that, Rainbow said as she rubbed the back of her neck. Look, I need your help. With what? Twilight won't come out or let me in so we can talk. So? Shining asked, while giving Rainbow a confused look. One moment. Please disregard the weird creaking and the thunder. <clears throat> you can... Yeah. You can get her to talk to me," Rainbow said, annoyed at how <laughs> annoyed at how dense Shining had been. "Nope. What? I'm not going to fix this for you," Shining said as he started ugh, as he started back on his way to Shukiku Corner. "You two you two need to work this out yourselves." Shining suddenly Shining suddenly felt a weird weightlessness to ugh, suddenly felt a weird weightlessness to his body and quickly realized that he was no ugh, that he was now far above Ponyville, with Rambo being the only thing keeping him from falling. You going to help now? Rambo Rambo threateningly Rambo asked threateningly. Nope. Shining responded, crossing his for, for, ugh, crossing his four legs in front of him. Ugh. <clears throat> ugh. Why won't you help me? Rainbow shouted, now finding it hard to carry Shining armor. Because if I, <clears throat> sorry, because if I help you, the problem won't go away. It'll just disappear for a while. Shining said. As he prepared a shield spell. Fine, Rainbow said as she suddenly stopped flying, jerking shining armor out of her hooves. I have. <laughs> uh, okay. 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 I love this guy. I I tip my hat to you. Whatever your name was, Arthur guy, yeah, you're awesome. But you wonder what I'm talking about. Okay. 
I'm going to read this paragraph here again. Just ignore that. Um, so, yeah. Rainbow said as she suddenly stopped flying, jerking shining armor out of her hooves. Oh, shit! Rainbow quickly shot down to try and catch shining armor. But when she saw... Mm, but when she saw his calm face, she stopped, confused. When he started to, when ugh, when he started to glow, he, she realized that he he ugh, he put a safety spell on himself. So she calmly flew down to the ground. A few seconds later, Shiny came down his spell creating a gust of wind to slow him down just before he hit the ground. Excuse me? Jeez. I got something to mention at the end of this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to get something to eat, Shining said, turning around to face Shrinky Corner which they had landed in front of. Wait, Rambo shouted as she jumped in front of him. Can you give me any advice on what to do? Just be honest. She, she'll she understand. Thanks, Rambo yelled as she took, took to the skies again. Shining Armor watched her until she flew over the horizon and turned around to see a royal guard staring at him. Captain. Sergeant. <clears throat> Sergeant, what are you doing here? Shiny asked, somewhat worried. Haven't I changed Shining's voice like 17 times? Or like 3 or something? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Princess Celestia told us to look for you, sir. The guard answered. She said you had suddenly disappeared. Oh. She's just mad I got to go on leave for a while, and wanted to know where I went. Shining said, as, as she, what, sharing the girl? Cursed you with thunder, as he patted the guard on the back. What do we tell her, sir? The guard asked. Hmm. Shining said as he tapped his chin. Nothing. I'm noticing a small. Uh, what? What? I don't know anymore. Something, 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 blah, blah, blah. Wait one sec. Shining quickly ran over to the stand and stand and look for a letter with a picture of Ponyville on it. He paid the stallion behind the stall five bits and quickly wrote down on the card. Dear Princess Celestia, I'm loving it down here in Ponyville. It's all so peaceful. Wish you were here. Love, Shining Armor. I'm sorry, I had to stop there. Um, there's a thing called Thunder, and it's fucking loud right now. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear that. Anyway, there. This should do," Shining said, as he ha as he handed the guard the letter. "Is this all we're supposed to show her, sir?" The guard asked, as he examined the letter. "Yes. Now, if you'll excuse me," Shining said, as he once again turned to face Sugar Cube Corner. Shining armor. Oh, for the love of, <clears throat> oh, for the love of, Shining said as he turned around, only to see Rainbow Dash flying towards him. What happened? What?
what? Okay, I need to stop reading ahead. <clears throat> she kicked me out and this <clears throat> she kicked me out and said she never wanted to see me again. Rambo shouted as she skidded to a stop in front of Shining Armor. <clears throat> what? Shining said, caught off guard by what Rambo said. They just said too many times in that sentence. I got her to let me in so we could talk, and Rimbo started, tears welling in her eyes. Calm down. It's okay. I'll go talk to her now, Shining said as he patted Rainbow on the back, N now very angry with his sister. Knock, knock. Oh, man. Should I do... Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Wait, didn't I just do that? Eh, who cares? <clears throat> who is it? Twilight yelled from somewhere inside the library. Your brother, Shining said as he looked towards one of the library's windows. It looked as <clears throat> it looked as though some pony had smashed it, smashed it. What? And recently too, since there was still some glass on the ground outside. Just it's just as Shiny started to think about what caused the window to break, the door opened. A very disheveled-looking Twilight on the other side. What are you doing here? Twy asked, somewhat surprised to see her brother outside the, her door. I need to talk to you about Rainbow Dash. Huh? <clears throat> oh, what? Did she tell you about what happened? Twy asked, sounding very annoyed. Oh, let me do that again. Oh, what? Did she tell you about what happened? There you go. That's better. Yes. <clears throat> yes. And I think you are making a big mistake. What? Twilight shouted, turning on the spot to face her brother. She loves you, Twilight. She doesn't know why, but she does. Why can't you accept that? Because the book says, Twilight started, but was cut off by Shining Armor's hoof. Seriously, a book caused this? Shining shouted. Yes, Twilight admitted. Twily, you need to go find Rainbow Dash and apologize to her, right now. Shining ordered. Why? We don't have any reason to love each other, so why should we? I'm sorry. Because you don't need a reason. If you love her, you love her. Simple as that. But the book said, It's just a book, Twily. You can't trust everything you see in a book. But... No buts. I heard about you and Rambo's date. Y you. <clears throat> Damn it. No buts. I heard about I heard about you and Rambo's date. You want to know who told who told her to ask you again? Me. What? <laughs> Rainbow came to me after you turned her down the first time. She asked. She was crushed, so I told her to wait until you weren't busy to ask her again. Why? <laughs> because I know you love her. But I don't know why I should. You just do, okay? 
Love can't be understood. It just happens. Why do you think I married Cadence? Because... <clears throat> because you love her for her... Act... Act... <laughs> Because you love her, for, because you love her for her actions. No, I love her, but I don't know why. I just do. Same goes for her. But I said no buts. Shining jumped behind Twilight and started pushing her towards the open door. Now go, go fix this whole thing right now. But go. Shining yelled as she sla <clears throat> as he slammed the door on Twilight's face. Damn. <laughs> okay. He was foaming and staring and what he what? He was foaming and st and starving. A growl from his stomach made him forget everything he just said, and he quickly made his way to Twilight's kitchen, eager to find some eager to find some form of sustenance. After he finished a rose and lily sandwich, he made his way towards the open towards an open book, and was that was, that was sitting on the table. He read it. And immediately picked the book up and used his magic to burn it. Now Twilight, now Twilight can forget about this stupid book's idea. He seems a little bit sinister, Shining said after the book stopped burning. Shining then heard a knock at the door and made his way to it only to see Cadence standing on the other side. Uh, <clears throat> I had a feeling you would f I, I had a feeling I would find you here, Cadence said, a hint of annoyance in her voice. Yeah, Shani said sheepishly. You are mad at me for not telling you, aren't you? <laughs> Mad is an understatement, Cadence said, as Cadence said, as she used her magic to teleport both of both her and Shining Armor back to their house in Canterlot. Okay, that's the end of chapter five. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about of it, and a little bit about it and stuff because I like to discuss things so um one thing this one doesn't feel as rushed as some of the other ones and this one I, I'm actually liking where this is going I like the story on this one I think it's probably because of the method I'm using to read it I can actually read a lot faster I think um because it's not as all weird and clumped up I don't know anyway um, I'm actually kind of starting to look forward to see how, seeing how this whole thing is going to wrap up in the end. Uh, anyway, um, the book burning thing, uh, when Shining Armor burnt Watt's book, isn't that black magic? Isn't that kind of illegal? Just wanted to point that out there. It might not be in this version of Equestria, in this state of reality but still doesn't seem like something that would be I don't, I don't know necessarily safe but eh, I don't know he is like you know royalty and stuff but eh wait I just realized if if shining armor is already royalty and stuff and he are kind of already is royalty I mean Shouldn't Twilight already have been considered royalty? Curse you, Thunder. I, I mean, I know she is now, because, you know, she's an alicorn and stuff. But before, wouldn't it technically be accurate to say that she was royalty? Anyway, um... Unless Shining Armor's adopted, then... 
that's different because I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm gonna leave. Your... Okay, it's raining and the sun is shining. I wanted to mention um that uh um a song, a really awesome one. It's called Loyalty. Guess who it's by? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Man a pony kissed a brownie kissed a brony. I've said this statement many a time when this thing these things happen here, but the sun shines bright, yet the rain pours on. Rainbows here one minute and then they're gone. It's true. It happens all the time where I live. Anyway, um I hope you enjoy the first bit of this video. I'm gonna leave your silence here. And you can pause the video in a couple of seconds, and then we'll come back whenever you feel fit to finish the reading. Okay. Alright, everybody, I'm back two hours later on my side. Might be five minutes or ten seconds for you guys. I don't know. I'm not the one who chooses that. It's you. But anyway, before I get too extremely tired, I'm bored. I'm going to finish our little reading here. Um, anyway, we were going to get back to reading I'm going to do, be doing chapter 6, so here we go. The Magic of a Rainbow, Chapter 6, The Plan, by Chakovich. Twilight was, running, Twilight was running across Ponyville when she heard Shining Armor cry out in terror from somewhere behind her. She turned around in time to see her brother being carried away by his sub... What? By, uh, by his subordinates, Princess, Sol Princess Cadence in tow. Looks like he's in trouble, Twilight thought. A small giggle escaped her. After she lost sight of her brother, she quickly turned back around and continued running heading towards Rainbow Dash's cloud house. She quickly reached the ground beneath the house, but with plan to get up, she op <clears throat> she op with but with plan to get up, she opted to throw rocks at the windows in an attempt to get Rainbow's attention. Wouldn't the rocks just go through the windows? That's weird. Rainbow was lying on her bed, face. <clears throat> Rainbow was lying on her bed, face in her deep pillow. Okay, damp pillow. Damn it. Well, if it's a cloud, isn't it damp already? Whatever. Um, she couldn't get over what happened. She had finally showed Twilight how she felt, and things were going well. And then, suddenly. It was over. Knowing that Twilight could be very stubborn when it came to books, Rainbow was under the impression that they would never get back together. And just the thought of that made Rainbow want to fly away from Ponyville, never to be seen again. There was just no way she could watch Twilight date some pony else. It, was, it would just be... Whack. Huh? What? What the hey? Rainbow shouted as she got to her feet. Hooves. After being knocked on the head. Wait, what? No. Knock off her bed. Damn it. To her surprise, she saw a fairly small rock sitting on her bed. Where, where, where her head used to be. She was getting ready to fly. She, she was getting ready to go flying out her window, to break to break up 
whatever through what okay to beat up whoever through the rock when she noticed another fl another float up s s what float up surrounded by purple magic twilight <clears throat> oh rainbow thank goodness you came out <clears throat> I was running out of rocks, <laughs> Twilight said as she dropped the rock she was levitating. Ran out of rocks? Rambo asked as she looked around, nothing, um, noticing dozens of rocks littering the ground beneath her house. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, apparently I'm not very good at throwing rocks, Twilight said sheepishly, but that's not why I'm here. Okay, so if you weren't here to stone me, then why are you doing throwing rocks at my house? Rainbow asked angrily. I wanted to talk to you, Twilight said bluntly. So? Couldn't it have waited? No, Twilight said, a look of determination on her face. Okay, so what is it? Rainbow asked, getting impatient. <laughs> I wanted us to get back together. What? Rainbow asked in confusion. I want to date you again. Twilight said, while blushing f furiously. Why? Because I was stupid to take the book seriously. So? I, kn <clears throat> I knew that I want to be with you. <clears throat> I know that I want to be with you, even though I don't know why. Okay. What? It was Twilight's turn to be confused. I said okay. To what? Us getting back us getting back together. Really? Yeah. Yes. Twilight shouted. I'm not shouting. Her confusion replaced by pure joy as she was <clears throat> and she was now back with her mare friend. Okay, okay, calm down, Rainbow said, as she covered Twilight's mouth. You don't want to wake the whole town, do you? Actually, I do, Twilight said happily. Why? Rainbow asked, while giving Twilight a worried look. <laughs> I don't know, but I... Just want everybody to know that we're together. <laughs> this is hilarious. Maybe we should tell our friends first. Oh, yeah, I guess we should do that. So, uh, what are you going to do this time? Rainbow asked as she got closer to Twilight. <clears throat> so, uh, what are we going to do this time? Rainbow asked as she got closer to Twilight. What? Twilight asked as Rainbow put a wing across her. Well, last time we went <laughs> we went fairly fast and look what happened. <laughs> Good point, Twilight said as she rubbed her chin. Maybe we should wait a little while before we go on a date. <clears throat> yeah, and maybe we shouldn't get all lovey-dovey every time we see each other. I'll agree to that, Twilight said N <clears throat> as she nuzzled Rainbow's neck. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to read ahead for a second. I thought... 
I thought we knew we were going to to go slow. I, <clears throat> I thought we were going to go slow, Rimbo said with a grin as she looked at Twilight. I think it's okay for us to do this, Twilight said as she continued to nuzzle Rimbo's neck. Oh, okay then, Rimbo said as she began to nuzzle Twilight's neck. The two of them stayed there. For, ugh, the two of them stayed there for a good twenty minutes, ugh, thirty minutes, until Twilight pulled away and waved goodbye. Rainbow quickly shot over and gave her a quick hug and then went back to her home room. She turned her pillow over so she wouldn't have to be reminded of how she had cried. So Twilight, you and Rainbow are fresher together now, right? <laughs> Applejack asked as Pinky sat down. <clears throat> sat down. Um, what? Earlier in the day, Twilight and Spike had ran around and gather and gather up their friends. What? Telling all of them to meet up at Sugar Cube Corner. With Rarity being the last one to still sh to still show up the five <clears throat> still show up the five that were there had already ordered their what I'm confused yes we are now officially mare friend what yes. We are now officially a mare friend call friend, Twilight said as she took a bite out of out of her daisy sandwich. So if you don't mind if you don't mind me asking <clears throat> so if you don't mind me asking, Applejack asked after finishing her <clears throat> after fin finishing her mouthful of salad. Who's who? Uh, Rambo quickly shot Twilight a confused look. We have we haven't decided that yet. Twilight said calmly. This is weird, really, really weird. I think I should be the cold friend. What? One second. I'm reading this wrong. Um. Should I do Pinky's voice or not? I think Rainbow should be the cult friend. Pinky shouted in her usual happy way. What's that supposed to mean? Rainbow asked angrily. Calm down, Rainbow. She doesn't mean anything by it, Applejack said as she held Rainbow's back. How does one hold someone's back? Murder much? Mm -hmm. What'd you do? Rip Rainbow's back off? Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, continuing. Um, Sorry, I've been going for way too long. Maybe she just... <clears throat> maybe she just meant it because you have a, mo have a more, um, cultish attitude, Fluttershy said quietly. Really? Am I that manly? Rainbow asked as she floated back into her seat. Not really, but you are more, uh... Coltish than Twilight is, Applejack said. Well, I guess you're right, Rainbow said, defeated. Mm -hmm. 
Excuse me. Oh god, a rarity, no, please. No, no rarity dialogue, no. It's okay, Rambo, dear. I think you'd look good in a suit. Rambo said, Rarity said, as she got close to the, as she got close to the table the girls were sitting at. Nice of you to show up, Rainbow said sarcastically. Huh, I got that right for once. <laughs> oh, don't be so rude. I I was ugh, I was saying the truth, Rarity said. So, what are you two going to do? Applejack asked. Well, <clears throat> well, we're going to go slow, and then we'll see how it's going. Going after a while. Twilight asked. Twilight said. And if things are going well, Flashlight asked. We don't know yet, but. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, Rainbow said. Well, I th I think I speak for everyone when I say we wish you the best of luck, Rarity said as she raised her glass of apple juice. Every pony else nodded in agreement. Agreement? Hmm. And they each raised their glasses to the new couple. Meanwhile, Twilight and Rainbow looked at each other and leaned forwards into a kiss, one that was one that was met by cheers from their four friends, each of them happy to see their friends finally love love in each other. Okay, um Sorry, that was a bit of a sketchy reading there. Um, didn't go as smoothly as I planned. But. And nonetheless, we got it done with, finally. And I'm very happy that I can actually continue and move on to some stuff that I'm going to be excited about reading. Um... Uh, I'm hopefully going to be reading some more depressing things, which is why I like to read for some reason. I like depressing things. Um, I don't know why. It's just my thing. Um, anyway, I'm trying to get more people on the crew so you can get more, so you guys have more stuff to watch with and things like that. I'm trying to get Gunslinger back, trying to get a couple other people to actually do something for once. Jeez. Um, because, I mean, don't. I'm not gonna lie here, we got people on our crew, and we got more than me, we got more than just little old Cirrus over here doing his little fanfic readings and occasionally a game or two, but, I mean, the other guys, they just don't do shit, ever. They never do anything. It's, I don't know. Anyway, um, discussing about the fanfic now. <clears throat> anyway, um, I'd like to say... I like it. It's not the worst fanfic I've ever read. It didn't. It wasn't as rushed at the in the end. The last couple of chapters wasn't weren't as rushed as the first few. That's kind of why I didn't like it. But these do feel a little bit less sped up than the others. It feels more like an actual story. There's a little bit more of a build up in these. A little bit of a, a little bit of a plot. The one thing I didn't really like about this is there wasn't much of a uh, rising action to it. There should have been more of a more of a breaking point in the end. But um, I mean, for instance, how it just kind of. They're like, oh yeah, Twilight, Twilight and Rainbow, they're together now. Yay, woohoo. Happy Smiles of Rainbows, I love you. Yay, awesome. Yeah, um, I could have written a better story on my sleep. No offense. No offense, Chakovich. Like the name, by the way, Chakovich. 
but yeah um I hope it didn't confuse any pony um that both these are in one reading and the file itself was in two parts too um well not actually not in two parts in one part I screwed up there um anyway uh ending this little thing off without you guys having to sit here and listen to me be annoying all the time although I'm probably not being annoying so many people actually like this part probably um <laughs> Anyway, if you guys want me to talk more about the fanfic than I do normally, I like discussing things, um, I might end up getting someone in here to discuss the fanfic with me, um, if you guys want me to just, just, to just discuss it in the end. Excuse me? Um, anyway, uh, I'm Spartan, I'm, oh, I almost said my old name. I'm Cirrus, I hope you enjoyed this fancy little fanfic we did here, um, Insert channel name here. I think we're gonna change it because Pony Express is weird. Um, we're probably we we might change it. I don't know. We haven't decided yet. Anyway, um, Cirrus signing off. I guess I don't know. Cirrus out. Bye. See ya. Later, guys. Peace. Whatever. What do you? Whatever you want me to say. Bye. Have a nice day.